Hey YouTube, it's been a little while. Why don't we do a tank tour? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again, uh, coming at you with a long overdue uh, fish room update. Um, put a few videos out over the last couple of months but I don't think I've done an actual fish room update uh, since the end of May so uh, we're looking at uh, the middle middle getting towards the end of July here so I figured I better get something going just been a real busy summer so um, we're gonna start downstairs here in the basement fish room um, and just kinda go through um, what I've got and what's been going on uh, one of my lights just timed out um, I got it on a timer, so I'm going to turn it back on real quick. But I'm going to start with uh, what you see in front of you here, and that is um, some Feste that I've gotten since the last update. Um, actually, I just got these a couple of weeks ago, less than two weeks ago. Uh, this is the female, and you can see she's um, colored up nicely, kind of in the breeding dress already. Um, she's a good six inches. Um, Got her from a local guy, Mike Melander, and uh, the male also I got from Mike. He's a little more skittish. Um, he's hiding down here right now. You can see. Uh, they get along well, though. Um, if I back off, he'll probably come out. Uh, he comes out for feeding time and everything, but um, real happy with these guys so far. Um, I have some other Feste too that I'm not, um, things haven't been going quite as good and I'll show you those later, but um, anyway, um, unless he, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to him if I notice that he's coming out as I um, go through the rest of the tanks, so. Um, below, we've got uh, my F1 Rio Mag Umbi pair, Thorson and Maggie. Thorson is the male, Maggie is the female. You can see they've got some uh, fry in the tank. They spawn regularly about every three weeks, three to four weeks. Um, the fry never typically make it. Um, this last batch, three days ago there was probably 500 in here, now it's down to under 100. Um, the last spawn before this, I did pull them, pull, the, pull most of the fry and they're right up here and there's probably less than 30 left. Um, not quite sure what's going on with that. I've successfully kept other types of fry, but I just can't seem to keep fry from this pair. So we'll just continue and see what happens, but I'm really digging them. Um, Thorsten's really starting to get some personality on them. I'm really working at trying to be able to kind of start petting them. Um, just not quite happening yet, but um, at any rate really digging these guys having a lot of fun with them starting to just kind of slowly have thoughts about uh, getting a bigger tank for this pair because they'll need it at some point there's the male fest day now he's out I'll just zoom in instead of trying to get close up there she is again. So yeah, he's probably nine inches. Meh, yeah, about nine inches, I'd say. All right, moving over here. Um, this is a male F1 from the Loki line. Really nice male. However, I am going to be looking to get rid of him soon. Um, so if anybody's interested in a nice... Uh, F1 Real Mag male, let me know. There's a wild caught female in here, as you can see um, in the pot. They've got wigglers that are just, it'll be probably sometime today that they turn to free swimmers. They've been in the wiggler stage since uh, last week. And some of them I notice are starting to swim around. She'll spit them back in. You can see um, from some heavy lip locking before they spawn, she's still got a little scarring on her face. Um, but um, I put her in this I had had her, her separated because she had some injuries from a prior attempted pairing and I put her in 
this tank less than two weeks ago and within a week um, these two spawned. So that was pretty pretty cool. I hadn't been able to pair this male up with anything yet. Um, I really want to keep this male, I just don't have the room so I'm looking to get rid of her, or him, I'm sorry. I will be keeping this guy next door here. Um, and typically I don't like to do this, but just with a space issue that kind of happened to me, um, I had to divide this tank and have two pairs in here. But um, this is a male from Magnus. And then there's a female wildcat that um, ever since I put the divider in really likes to hide. Um, but here she is. Um, she's going to be available soon. I'll be looking to, to get rid of her. So if you're looking for a female wildcat and maybe a male F1 to pair up together, I'm your guy. Let me know. But this, this male here, he's coming up on, he's probably in the 8 inch range right now. He's just a stunner. I'm really happy with him. And don't worry about the divider. I'm going to be repairing it right after um, I shoot this video here. So, But I'm really happy with this guy here. What I'm going to do is pair him up with her and call it good. Hopefully that that, that takes. Uh, down below, Hoga Boomerums. Still got them rolling. Triton, the male over here. Um, and then uh, this female um, heartbreaker. Um, I've been wrestling around with this decision for a few months, but I'm almost positive that I am gonna um, move these on to this pair. Probably not quite yet, but within the next month maybe. So if you're looking for a Hoga Boomerum pair, uh, hit me up. These are F1s, and they're they're just a really nice pair. Um, just not interested in them as much as I used to be. So I figure I'll try to get them to somebody. I mean, I, I get messages weekly about wanting to know if I want to sell my Hogas. Um, and I, as you know, I've sold one other pair and then the lone single one that I had. Um, but if anyone's interested, let me know and we'll work something out in the next coming weeks or month or so. But they're doing good. Um, they're divided right now. Um, he got a little nippy with her, um, so I divided them. I've got a few uh, Midas in here, and a couple of some hybrids that um, I... That's a long story, but anyway, um, they, they appear to be uh, Red Texas, so um, I'll be looking to move those out of here soon too, but I've just kind of kept them in there as dithers, so... And then uh, under here, I've got another pair, a uh, male from Magnus and a female from Loki. This female has already got a new home. It'll be heading out uh, this weekend. Oh, she'll come out so... see her a little bit. Um, and I'll be looking to get rid of this male here too, so if anyone's looking for a Magnus male, F1, let me know. Over here I've got a Magnus female that I'll be moving on as well. She's kind of up here right now, which is weird. She's um, usually really active. Here she comes. This one, um, all these fish in this tank have spawned at some point with someone. So, um, this one, I've, any, any male I put her in with, she's spawned with. And she's got the really cool, I call her double dot. She's got the real cool um, two dots when she's colored up in spawning dress. So kind of fun. Shrimp tanks are still doing great. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on them so I won't really cover them but I'll just show you real quick some crystal blacks and some crystal reds that are all kind of congregated. And then two new shrimp tanks here but I'll do a separate video so you can see those and spend more time on them. The male red is latest up here doing well. Female is kind of hiding out right now behind the flower pot. This guy's got just all sorts of attitude. He's full of piss and vinegar always. Um, they spawned a few times. Um, only one time has it made, have they made it to free swimmers. And I left them in there. I just didn't have room to pull the fry at the time. Um, as far as, you know, in my fry tanks go. And they lasted a few weeks. But eventually... Um, didn't survive or were eaten or whatever. Here she is back here. Um, I think he's been a little hard on her lately, which typically happens with these before they spawn, so I'm expecting a spawn here pretty soon. 
Got a few loaches in here too. There's a couple of them out, but otherwise they're they're hiding. This guy's awesome. I really like this fish. He just loves to try to kill me. So anyway, that's what's going on there. Um, across the room is a tank that I've got some fest egg rods, and these aren't the ones that I mentioned a little bit ago that I was disappointed in. These these are nice. These are I've got some that are like in the four inch range. Um, this guy is freaking out right up there. I've got five of them in here, and then I've got another one that came with these guys that I showed you before from uh, Mike Melander. He's hiding out under the filter up there right now, but. These guys are nice looking, all of them. Um, they are very skittish and they don't come out very often. Even when it's feeding time, they don't. I have to put in some pellets and then back up, go in the other room or whatever, and then they'll come out, get them, and, and hide. I've got purposely by design, I made lots of uh, hiding spots in here for them. And uh, just waiting to see what happens with them. I got them before I got these Feste. So. I don't know, I'm still deciding if I should hold on to these or make some tank space, so we'll see what happens there. Fry tanks, um, I've got some F1 Spectabilis growing out. They are um, from my wild caught pair. Um, a few Thorson and Maggie Fry. Um, I've got two RTMs in this tank. Sorry it's uh, dirty, I've got a little too much food in there today and I'm going to have to clean that. And then over here I've got some Mayans, a few Umbies from a prior spawn from one of those pairs I showed you before, and a few small RTMs also, F2s. So that's what I can show you about the fry grow out tanks. Uh, we'll come over here. In the 90 I've got my F1 Spectabilis pair. They spawn every so often and then he gets really rough with her when he's ready to go again which is what happened uh, a week or two ago. Um, so I um, divided them. She's healing. The fry never make it with these ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I still like them, especially the male. He's a real nice looking one. Um, so we'll see what happens. I might try to work on getting a new female at some point. Down here are the wildcats. Um, they are hanging out a ton in the, uh, in the, uh, flower pot lately. So I'm thinking we might have, uh, another spawn. I've had one spawn from them, and I've been able to successfully keep some fry, which I showed you a minute ago. They're getting close. They're, they're about the half inch range right now, but... Digging that. Can't hardly even see these guys because they're chilling in here, but... We won't spend much more time on that. Lion's Eye are over here. I've got six Lion's Eye. I haven't gotten any to pair off yet. Um, but I'm going to start thinning the herd. So I'm going to be getting rid of the smallest three. This one, the one in the back there, and then this one right here. I need to do a little research and, and look at uh, ways to sex these to see what I've got as well. But a um, few of them are really growing out nicely. These are going to be moving to a six foot tank once I clear out some space. Um, down here, if you can see him, right under the tip of the heater there, there's a tri map. He really likes to hide, he does come out for um, dinner. And then uh, about a 5 inch RTM over on this side right now that is very skittish and likes to hide. I don't even know if I got him on camera there when he was out a minute ago, but what I'm looking to do here is uh, I definitely want to get an RTM pair. So if anybody out there has anything, um, that they might be interested in getting rid of RTM wise, let me know. I'm definitely interested in, in a good looking pair of RTMs. So um, that's about it for the basement. Uh, we're going to head upstairs now, real quick, and I will show you the last few tanks. 
I'm not going to probably do too much on it, but here is the, uh, the reef tank. Got some fish in there now. Um, here are the other feste I was talking about before. Haven't had real good luck with these um, as far as pairing them off. Um, I bought them without doing a ton of research on their background and, and things like that. Um, got them for a real good price so I couldn't pass them up. We'll see what happens. Um, the first few times I've kept um, put them together he's really I mean, there's, there was just a lot of fighting, and it, it wasn't good. I divided them a couple days ago, and things went decent. And then I divided them again here this, or undivided them, I'm sorry, again this morning. And uh, we're just kind of seeing what's going to happen here. If things don't go well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time with these. I'll move them on. Got a few last Midas in here. Um, a few that I'll be keeping, and the last... Um, the last of my Midas are already spoken for and are going to be heading out this weekend too, so. But I got a couple of nice sized ones and then I really like this creamsicle too. Um, but at any rate, that's what I can tell you about that. Clown loaches. Um, I won't do much on the reef because I try to keep those videos separate with the reef series I've been doing. So we'll head on in here. Um, 150 gallon discus tank, planted discus tank, all my wild caught discus are doing well. Um, some of the plants are doing well, others are struggling. I go through, with my uh, starch and repins, the carpeting plant, they just go through spurts. They melt off, they come back real thick and lush. Um, the Blixa japonica always is doing well, thriving. Um, I mean, it grows so fast, I'm just pretty much constantly selling it, um, getting it in people's hands. People for seem, just seem to love this plant, um, which I do too. It's like my favorite plant. I just love the grassy look to it. Um, so, yeah, we'll get some close-ups here on the discus. They're doing well. I got three or four different types of wild cots in here. This guy in the back, he's been acting up a little bit lately, I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep been keeping my eye on him. So and then the domestic discus tank, the 90 gallon over here. Things are doing well here. The red, white, and blue tank, if you will. I had two reds, but one of them passed a few months back, and then two whites and two blues. Um, tons of cardinal tetras in there. Plants are doing fa fairly well in this tank as well. And then below, that is a yellow neo shrimp tank, my red sherry shrimp tank, and then over here is my five gallon um, blue pearl shrimp tank. So. But yeah, that's about it for the for the tour right now. Um, sorry that I haven't uh, taken you guys on a tour um, in a few months here, but uh, I'm still around, and I appreciate you watching. Appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel. Make sure you go over and check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. Their links will be below. Make sure you check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook, um, the business page, and then also get involved with the Aquatic Support Community Facebook page as well. Thanks for watching, guys.